Social anxiety is a complex psychological phenomenon that can be understood in part as a cognitive bias. It's important to delve into this concept and explore how our thought processes, perceptions, and interpretations play a pivotal role in the experience of social anxiety. The Bob Anders Podcast is insightful, educational, and relevant to your everyday life. I want to take this moment to remind you to subscribe to the Bob Anders Podcast so you never miss an episode. You can find the Bob Anders Podcast anywhere you like listening to podcasts. And now, back to Bob. At its core, social anxiety is a heightened fear or apprehension of social situations. Individuals with social anxiety often have an exaggerated perception of the potential negative outcomes of social interactions. This perception is where cognitive biases come into play. Two key cognitive biases commonly associated with social anxiety are catastrophizing and mind reading. Catastrophizing involves magnifying the perceived negative consequences of social interactions. For example, someone with social anxiety might anticipate that a single, simple conversation at a party could lead to humiliation, rejection, or ridicule. This cognitive distortion creates a cycle of avoidance and withdrawal from social situations, further reinforcing their anxiety. Mind reading, on the other hand, is another cognitive bias often found in individuals with social anxiety. It entails assuming that others are constantly scrutinizing and negatively evaluating them. In reality, most people are preoccupied with their own concerns and don't pay as much attention to others as we might think. However, those with social anxiety tend to attribute negative judgments to others even in the absence of concrete evidence. Additionally, selective attention plays a significant role in social anxiety. People with this condition tend to focus on perceived social threats while ignoring or downplaying positive cues. For example, they may dismiss compliments or friendly gestures and instead fixate on any perceived signs of disapproval or rejection. Furthermore, there's a confirmation bias at work in social anxiety. This bias leads individuals to seek out and interpret information that confirms their negative beliefs about themselves in social situations. They may actively search for evidence that they are unlikable or socially awkward while dismissing any evidence to the contrary. It's essential to note that these cognitive biases in social anxiety are often deeply ingrained and automatic. They contribute to a self-perpetuating cycle of anxiety, avoidance, and isolation. As a result, individuals with social anxiety miss out on valuable social connections, experiences, and personal growth opportunities. Addressing social anxiety involves cognitive behavioral therapy techniques that aim to identify and challenge these cognitive biases. Therapists work with individuals to reframe their thoughts, develop more realistic interpretations of social situations, and gradually expose them to feared scenarios. Through these therapeutic interventions, individuals can learn to manage their social anxiety and lead more fulfilling lives. In conclusion, social anxiety is indeed a cognitive bias in which individuals with this condition tend to interpret social situations in a distorted and excessively negative manner. Understanding these cognitive biases is crucial for effective treatment and support. By recognizing and challenging these biases, individuals can gradually overcome social anxiety and experience a broader, more positive perspective on social interactions. The one thing you can do today to help you overcome your social discomfort is to remind yourself often that people are not focusing their attention on you. They are more focused on themselves than on you. 
If you keep repeating this to yourself enough, you will eventually become more relaxed and confident in social situations. 